Hi everyone, it's Chloe. I was exploring Google Community, um, which you can find on Google Plus. So if you're unfamiliar with it, what you do is you go to your Gmail, click on the grid here, which you would normally find docs, sheets, any of that stuff on. You will go down to Google Plus. And when you go to Google Plus, it will bring up your home screen with different feeds that others are sharing within communities. So you can see potentially, oh, maybe writing main 1030 spring, maybe that interests me and I would like to look further into that community. Um, so you get some home feed right up here. Um, that's under discover. And then if you'd like to go to your communities that you're a part of, you click over on the left. Right now I'm currently um, part of our EDT 520 community. So I'm gonna click right on that. And you can see that this is the home screen within our community. Um, so right now, uh, Jill and I have been having a bit of a conversation, making sure that we can see each other's feed. Um, looks like our professor has just popped in here. Um, so unfortunately, the big downside of this is that Google Communities is going away as of April 2nd. So unfortunately, it really isn't going to be a resource that we can use. So. That's obviously a downside of um, choosing this resource for this project. So um, Jill and I were talking on Slack saying maybe I would have to look into Google Groups, um, something a little different there to see what other options there would be. Um, benefits, of course, you can see that it's really easy to communicate right here. We have the whole feed going on. Um, we can reply to each other, almost like a Facebook setup, really, um, getting that feed and instant communication. Um, so that's all right there. Um, so it's a great way to communicate with classmates. Um, it would be a great way, I think, to communicate with parents. Um, I can see coaches using this with uh, parents as well uh, to communicate, administration, updating parents. It's really just an easy way to get back and forth with a particular group. Um, and then if you want to search within your community, so say I was going to go to uh, just one particular group member's page. I can go and see just their thread posts by typing in their name. Um, and then I can also go up here on the left-hand side and I can go to Discover, which we were kind of on before, and then I can just start to notice some different things that I may be interested in and join other communities from there. So as you can see, it's really um, organized quite well. Um, it's just unfortunate that, you know, not enough people were using it uh, so that it's not going to continue here. So we'll have to find a different plan. But just wanted to share, it is an easy setup um, and easily navigated. But yeah, there you go, Google Communities.